Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best weapon in Fallout 4 with no DLC content. And this is my first Fallout 4 video, so I'm really excited to do this. Let's go everybody. Okay, so to get this weapon you have to come to Vault 81 and it's right here on the map. I'm going to show you where that is from Overland Station and where this is from Red Rocket and um, Sanctuary, which is probably the first couple places you'll find when you come out of the map. So yeah, you just got to make it down here. Now keep in mind there is a bear over here, so if you come here early like I did at like level 7, just be prepared. You know, you might not even want to try to fight him um, unless you're using mods, of course. But this is Vault um, 81, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and let's make our way in. I always confuse it with Vault 88. And yeah, we're just going to open it up like normal, but there is a catch to it. Usually you can just open up the vaults in the wasteland here, but this one's occupied. So what we have to do is we're going to have to talk to the people in the vault and we're going to have to bargain with them to get in. Now, there is a speech check you can pass, but if you're a lower level, it's going to be really hard to pass it. You could save right before the speech check and then just keep trying and reloading if you want, or you will have to get them three fusion cores as it's going to show here. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get three fusion cores. I just got three over at Diamond City, which you will find early on in your playthrough as well. I got them from Arturo here. And then once I got the fusion cores, I just made my way back to Vault 81. And then you're going to make your way up to the uh, little console there again. And yeah, it's going to prompt you to give them to the um, overseer here. And once you do, they're going to let you in. Just to point out, you will have to do a little bit of dialogue before you can go any further into their vault. It won't take you long to talk to her. So just throwing that out there in case you can't get through the door, make sure you do talk to the overseer. And once we do, we can make our way into Vault 81. This is like usually my go-to weapon when I start a new playthrough. Um, I can't tell you how awesome this weapon is. The two-shot effect on it is amazing. It's not like Fallout 76 where it's really been nerfed into the ground. The two-shot effect is probably one of my favorite effects, if not my favorite effect in the game. And that's basically what it is on a combat rifle. And we're going to get it from this lady right here who is Alexis Combs. And it's really not too expensive. For an early player, It's I think it's three to 4,000 caps, and that's the most it will be. If you have high charisma or perks on, you can get it for even cheaper. And you can obviously trade items for it as well, too. So it should be fairly easy to get early. And trust me, you'll thank me later when you use this weapon. It's extremely overpowered. The combat rifle's already overpowered, but the two-shot effect... It does add a bit of recoil, but it almost like doubles the damage that the weapon does. It's just insane how good this weapon is. Like I said, it's my go-to weapon whenever I start a new playthrough without mods. I usually make my way over there as fast as I can to get this weapon. As you can see, we're just destroying enemies here. And of course you can upgrade it, you know, the, the higher gun nut you have, the higher rifleman you have, the more damage you're going to do, of course. So if you're not doing the damage that I'm doing right here, just keep in mind, um, you may not be playing on the same level as me, so maybe lower your level, or you're just going to have to rank up uh, your perks a little bit. Rifleman and Commando will uh, buff the damage of this weapon for uh, fully automatic for commando and rifleman for semi-automatic and i do highly recommend semi-automatic in fallout 4 rather you know in 76 where i would recommend commando um i want to point out too at greater mass blood clinic say you can't get the gun right away because it's too expensive you could come over to greater mass blood clinic at level 15 um the combat rifles will start to spawn you can see it's very close to sanctuary and red rocket and if you make your way over here, there is going to be a combat rifle here waiting for you. Keep in mind, you have to be at least level 15. And once you get here, you're just going to come upstairs. Keep in mind, there's a lot of bugs here. So uh, just be prepared for a little bit of a fight. Um, make sure you walk around that hole in the ground. Don't want to fall through like I did a little earlier. And then we're just going to make our way upstairs here. Don't forget to come over to the duffel bag, get a little bit more ammo. And then the combat uh, rifle should be here. It's not always here, but 99% of the time it is here. So if you need something to, you know, keep you covered until you can get Overseer's Guardian, this weapon will help you. It just doesn't have a Legendary's effect. But like I said, the combat rifle is already overpowered. So yeah, you'll thank me later for these guns. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you get a weapon that help you with your playthrough. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.